Hi guys, I'm Sandy Alder and I'm a trainer and instructor at Rain Tree Athletic Club. Welcome to core class. This is my home gym and guest room. Who needs to? Just do it all at once. Uh, today we're going to be working, as usual, on balance. We're going to work the front of the body, the back of the body, the hips, the glutes, the lower back, middle back, upper back, some shoulders, and we're going to be working on the sides. So, I've got a little warm up for you, and then we'll do eight different exercises, and we'll go through all of the exercises, do them once, then we go through and do them a second time, okay? Then we'll cool down and stretch. All right, you ready? Let's do some core work. All right, you will need a ball today. If you don't have a ball, you can do things on the floor, but it's really good to have a fit ball, okay? All right. Okay, we're gonna start with just a little twisting, feet are apart, a little soft at the knees, rotate side to side. Just loosen up your lower back, your torso. Ah, breathe, shoulders are down, you can let your arms go loose. Nice. All right, now bring those feet together, chest up, chin up, hands at your sides. Reach up, 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 inhale and drop forward exhale bend those knees a bit ragdoll come on up <sighs> now you're ready feet apart we're going to do the windmill so arms out like an x and you're just going to bend those knees and reach down and over if you have a lower back issue you want to be a little more careful and maybe just go this far Keep those knees nice and loose and twist and come up. See if you can make it a little bigger. Up and over, up and over. Nice job. All right. Okay, that'll do. Pull those feet together again and just a little twist, relax. Feet together, one more breath. Up, and bend those knees over. Ragdoll, and walk it up. All right, we're gonna start with the crunch to the sides. So, keep those feet together. Hands can be on your hips, and just tip to one side up and to the other side. It's kind of a stretch and a crunch all at the same time. We're gonna make it easy to start with and just get about a minute in here. Try not to move your head back and forth at the neck. Just keep your neck nice and still. You can feel like you have a little orange or something tucked right between your chin and your chest. All right. And you're breathing. Not a big deal. Just bending at the side, bending at the side and crunching the other side. Easy does it. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. You good? All right, we're gonna do a little balance, all right? Let's go to the floor, and we're gonna go on hands and knees. So, knees are together. My couch is gonna be in the way for a sec, but I'll manage. Nice straight arms. Take that right leg and shoot it out. You're going to look at the floor. Take the left arm, shoot it out. We're just going to hold this for a little while. Thumb is up. And remember, you're looking at the floor. You're engaging the back of your left shoulder, middle back, lower back, right hip, right glute. Nice long leg. And you're breathing. Just hold it. Hold it about 30 seconds. And bring it down. We'll go right to the other side. So that's right arm, thumb up. Left leg out. Nice and long, as long as you can be, from fingertips to toe tips. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Working both sides of the body, works both sides of the brain. Pull that belly button in a little bit. 
You got it. Working it out. All right, bring it down. Nice job. And just sit back. Drop those hips to one side. And then off to the other side. Nice. Now, last week, we did a plank for a minute, and we did it three times. We're going to do a plank today for a minute 15, and then the second time a minute 30. If you need to drop and take a little break and rejoin us, feel free to do that. All right, you ready? I'm going to grab my timer. You can do this on your hands. You can do it on your elbows, or you can do it on your, and you can do it on your toes or your knees. So you could be here, 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 or here. What you want is a nice straight line from your head to either your knees, here, I mean here, or to your heels, here, okay? All right, you ready? Okay, get ready, get set, and go. Belly button is in. You don't want your hips up like a mountain top, and you don't want to sag your hips. Belly button pulls in, nice straight line. I'll tell you when we're 30 and 45 seconds and 60 seconds in. <sighs> Looking at the floor. Straight, straight legs. Nice job, that's 30 seconds. Hang in there, and smile, it helps. Coming up on 45 seconds. Keep that belly button pulled in. There's 45 seconds. Stay nice and tight, nice and long from head to heels. your back starts hurting, that's normal. Just tuck that belly button in. That's a minute. You've done a minute. you got 15 seconds. Let's go. There we go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You've done it. There's a minute. Go ahead and sit back. Nice job. Sit back and stretch. If you are on your hands, come up and rotate those wrists, wiggle those fingers. Awesome job. Okay, now we're gonna go to lying on our back. You want your legs up, hands on the floor by your hips, out to the sides or behind your head, doesn't matter. And we're gonna do what I call single scoops. We're gonna shoot one leg out, bring it up, put it back, other leg, and go. Let's do this for a minute. Let me set my timer. There we go. So not a big deal. What you want is to keep that back still right here. You don't want your back to pop up off the floor. Just keep that back nice and still by engaging the core. Not bad, right? Good stuff. Yay. On the second set of everything, we can make things a little harder if this is too easy. All right, hang in there. Now, if you would like, you can bring those hips up each time you replace that leg. That makes it a little tougher. I just wanna be my best. Nice job, about 10 seconds. Good job, hang in there. And done. Ah, oh, nice job. That's it. And go ahead and drop those knees off to one side. Let that back stretch out. Beautiful. We're gonna go to the ball next. Knees over to the other side. And bring it up and come it up. All right, if you can grab a fit ball, that would be awesome. We're gonna do some back work here. 
the core is all the way around the body. So don't forget the back side. You might want to be where you can put your feet against something. I'm gonna put, put my feet against the couch so that my feet don't slide on the carpet. We're gonna go belly and hips on the ball, okay? So just situate yourself there. Toes on the floor, feet against something if you can, and then just drop forward. Ah. All right, these are back extensions. Hands on your hips, round your body over the ball, come up, squeeze your glutes, your lower back, and pull those shoulder blades together. So you pop your chest, you got a lot going on back there. Drop over, and do it again. Nice pause at the top, down, and up, straight legs, down, and up, and you're always looking at the floor. Don't pull your chin up like this, just keep that chin tucked back. Down, and up. You're breathing, you're getting all of that going, upper back, middle back, lower back, glutes. Nice, 30 seconds, you're halfway there. Good job, keep it up. Oh, and you're breathing. Beautiful. 15 seconds. Oh yeah. Nice. All right. There's the timer. You're done with that. Okay. Now we're going to stay here after we do a little stretch and we're going to do another exercise face down on the ball. So round over the ball. Let your knees drop down. Just relax. All right. All right. Come on up. And... We're staying in the same position, hips and belly on the ball. If it's too hard for you, you can pull the ball underneath your chest a little bit, but if it's too easy, you pull the ball underneath your hips a little bit more, okay? Okay, now we're gonna do reverse fly. Hands here, we don't need weights. Hands here, little bend at the elbows. Squeeze your glutes and lower back. So you have that nice straight line, head to hips to heels. And prayer position. Then you just bring those arms out to the sides with a slight little bend at your elbows. And back down again. Out to the sides, back down. The spine does not move. Oh yeah. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. These are your posture muscles. You gotta keep them strong or you'll be a slump and you don't want that. I mean, we already have this long hair thing going on. We don't need to be slumpy too, right? Woo, time for a haircut. Okay, let's keep it going. A little bit longer. Yeah, you gotta make it happen. Again, we're tucking our chin, looking at the floor. You should feel your back working to hold you upright. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Here's three, two, and one. Again, we're going to stretch. Just relax. Oh, yeah. Nice job. All right. Good work. Gonna go ahead and turn around. Again, you might wanna keep your toes against something. We're gonna put the ball underneath your lower back and your middle back. This time, we're gonna do some crossover crunches. Hands behind your head, and we're gonna go over the midline of the body. Up and over. Keeping that chin tucked in, okay? You ready? I'll start the timer. And go. Up and over and down. Try not to let your belly force forward. Tuck it in just a little bit, especially right here. Don't let it push out and just side to side. Nice little twist on each one. 
incorporates all the front of the body muscles. You're halfway there. Oh. It is a windy day outside. I was going to do my video outside, but the wind picked up too much. All right, about 10 seconds. Nice. Good job. And done. Nice work. Now you can roll forward, let your head rest on the ball and open those arms out. If you like, straighten those legs a bit and get a nice big stretch through here. All right, back to neutral, hands behind your head, chin in, and walk it up to the top of the ball. Nice job. That was seven exercises. We've got one to go. So let's do it. All right, push that fit ball out of the way. We're going to do fire hydrants. This is on all fours. So your knees are together, hands underneath your shoulders, and you're going to keep that right leg bent at the knee as you lift it off to the side. What you don't want is to twist your back, okay? Arms stay straight, one side, one minute. Ready, set, and go. Again, remember that long neck, looking at the floor. Both arms are straight, you don't wanna bend your elbows. Right off to the side, beautiful. Now we're working the hips. Oh yeah, and the glutes. Yes. Grab a drink of water anytime you need it. Try to lock those shoulder blades down. You're halfway there. Halfway on one side. Good, good, good. Only moving at the hip joint. Everybody's got a different range of motion in their hip, so no biggie. Do what's right for you. 15 seconds. Ooh, you should feel that by now, yeah? Great. Awesome. And you're breathing. Ooh, last one. Drop it down. Sit back. Nice job. Ugh. All right, we're going to go the other side. I'm going to face the other way. All right, you ready? You know what to do. If your wrists bother you, you can always go to your knuckles, or you could put a pair of weights and hold onto those on the floor. All right, here we go. Ready, set, other side, go. Out to the side and back. Arms stay straight, so it's right here. Work in that hip. Yes, good job. So our last exercise, eight of eight. But then we're going to go through and do them all again. And we have the option to make them tougher. Oh, yeah. Nice. Ooh. All right, here it comes. 22 seconds to go. You got this. Pull that belly button in. Awesome. 12 seconds. Almost, almost. And there it is. Sit back. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Nice job. All right. We're going through a second time. So let's start by standing up. Might do a little twisty twist. Feet are apart for your twist. And then we're going to pull those feet together. A little bend at the knees if you wish. You can have hands on shoulders to make it harder or hands behind your head. Side to side, all right? Okay, you remember that? Let me get the timer going. We'll go for one minute. Get ready and get set and go. Just side to side. Makes it a little tougher than where we were the first time. And if you get super tired or you feel like 
You might be getting a cramp in your side. Go back to hands here or take a little break, get a twist, and join us when you're ready, okay? Nice. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Halfway there. And you're breathing, and you're smiling, and you're working your core. Nice. One of the muscles you're working is called the QL. That's the quadratus lumborum. I always say it sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Ooh, almost there. Nice job. Ooh, here it comes. And there you go. Nice job. Relax those arms. We're going to go to that balance where we've got knees together, hands on the floor. Shoot that right leg out, left arm out. And if you want it tougher, you're going to lift that left toe off the floor. You got to focus. So get ready, get set, shoot those arm, that arm and that leg out. Focus. Breathe, and when you're ready, try lifting that toe off the floor. Nice and stable. Oh, yeah. Lift it up. Hold it there. All that wiggling is working your core. So wiggling works. Yeah. Long leg, long arm, fingertips to toe tips. You're over halfway there. Hold on to it. Oh. And breathe. Oh, we all wiggle. Keep that focus on the floor. You got about 12 seconds. Nice job. Hold on to it. Coming up. Woo! And three, two, one. Drop it all down. Sit back. Beautiful. Wiggle that wrist, wiggle those fingers. Good job. Other side, let's go. Knees together, leg out, arm out, get your focus. And thumb up when you're ready, pull that toe off the floor. Great job, hang in there. Pull your belly button in. You might have one side that's wigglier than the other. That's all right. You just want to give that wiggly side some extra attention. Maybe do a second set. All right, don't slump. Nice long line, fingertips, toe tips. Good job, keep it up. Ah. About 15 seconds to go. We got this. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and good job. Sit back. Oh, yeah, nice work. Kind of wiggle that tush. You can drop those hips over to one side and then over to the other side. Good job. Okay, we got the minute and a half plank now. Remember that? Minute and a half. It's the only other plank we're going to do in class today. So, minute and a half. Go to where you need to be, hands or elbows, knees or toes. Get ready, get set, and go. Pull your belly button in, nice long line. No sagging, no mountain top. Chin tucked in just a bit, looking at the floor. Ah. Nice and strong. We're defying gravity right now. Not letting gravity pull our hips down. Stay strong. It's been 30 seconds already. You are 33% done. All right. Long arms, lock those shoulder blades down. Oh yeah. And 50% done, that's 45 seconds. Great job, keep it up. We got it. Nice job, 30 seconds to go. You have been here one minute, 
We've got this. We're a team. Let's do it. Belly button in. You might be shaking. That's okay. You are doing great. You have 16 seconds to go. Long neck. Hang on. 10 seconds. Beautiful. And five, four, three, two, one. Drop to your knees and sit back. Oh, nicely done. Woo! And if you were on your hands, wrists and fingers. Beautiful job. Okay, let's go to the scoops. This time, instead of one-legged scoops, we're gonna do two-legged scoops. If that gets too tiresome, then of course you go back to the one-legged scoop, okay? All right, get ready. Get set, back to one minute. And hands where you want them, go. Shoot those legs out, bring them up, and lift your hips if you wish. Nice, hands can be here, here. I like mine behind my head. Nice. If this starts hurting your back, stop, drop your feet down, rotate those knees to one side and then to the other, okay? All right, meanwhile, scooping it out, lifting those hips, keep your head down. Nice. These are tough. These are tough scoops. You got it. Ooh. Beautiful. Come here. Oh, yes. Let's see where we are. Five seconds. Three, two. You are done. Now, timer. Drop those knees off to one side, arms overhead. Oh. Take a little break. Drop them over to the other side. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to the ball. So bring those knees up. Come on up. Grab that fit ball. Okay. I'm going to grab a drink of water. Okay. We're going to do the back extensions. We're only going to do them 30 seconds this time. We've done a lot on the back. So hips and belly on the ball. Ah, I'll get our 30 seconds. Ready, there it is. And go, hands on your hips. Squeeze everything in your back, including your shoulder blades together. And you can pull the ball out in front of you to make it easier, underneath your hips more if you need to make it harder. You can put your hands here. You can put them on your forehead. You've only got a few seconds to go. Squeeze everything behind you. There it is. Drop down. Nice. Oh. All right. Now the reverse flies. Now if you wanted, you could grab maybe a can of soup in each hand if you want. I didn't bring that downstairs, so I'll just do it here. Reverse flies. Rib cage on the ball. Nice long line. Hands in prayer position underneath you, out to the sides. Ready, set, go. Again, just 30 seconds here. Beautiful job. You got this. Nice and strong. This is exercise number six. We've got two exercises to go, then we stretch and you're out of here. I really appreciate you joining me today. Just a few more seconds here. Squeeze those shoulder blades, pop that chest, hold it. Nice, and drop down, beautiful. Oh. All right, and now to the ball crossovers. All right, toes against the wall, hands behind your head. And if it gets too tough, you could cross your arms across your chest, okay? All right, ready? We got one minute, one minute of these. All right, ready, set, go. Up and over, back and down. Up and over, back and down. Now, if you wanna make it harder, you can lift the foot 
that you're aiming for, okay? Like that. If you go right, lift the right foot. If you go left, lift the left foot. Woo! That makes it harder. Got to balance on this ball. Ooh. Keep that twist. Ooh. All right, you're over halfway there. Ooh. Nice. 15 seconds, you got this. Ooh. Balancing on that ball, one foot on the floor with a twist, five seconds. And done. Woo, drop down. Remember, make sure your head is supported on the ball. Arms out to a T. And straighten those legs a bit. That's too much on your back. Come back to here. All right, back to neutral. Hands behind your head. Bring it up. Walk it up. And we got the fire hydrants. Fun. We get to finish with the fire hydrants. Get that ball out of the way. And let's do it. Great. Okay. All right. One minute on each leg. Knees are together. And hands underneath your shoulders. Ready. Take it out to the side and back down. Arms stay straight. We're going to go 30 seconds here, and then we're going to do little guys for 30 seconds. That's what's going to make a difference here. Or you could just shoot that other hand off to the front of you. And again, with your thumb up. All right, coming up on halfway. You can keep this going, or you could do these little guys right at the top. 30 seconds if you'd like to do both. Woo! Awesome. 20 seconds. Oh, yeah, you should feel the burn in your booty. Yes. We use these move, these uh, muscles every step we take. Come on. Six seconds. Hang in there. Woo! Three, two, one, and drop it down. Oh, sit back. Nice work. Wiggle that wrist, fingers, other side. Okay, I'm going to turn it around and get ready. Get set, other leg, and go out to the side. Just get started. Then if you want to take that arm up, you can do that. And we'll be here for 30 seconds. Oh, yes. Woo! That's 15. Seems like a lifetime, doesn't it? All right. Here we go. Coming up on 30. All right, if you'd like, you can put your hand down. Just do little guys. If you'd like, you can take that arm overhead and still do the little guys. Come on. 20 seconds. Oh, nice. Keep it up. 15. Booty burning, booty burning. That's what we're looking for. And six, five, four, three, two, one, and sit back. Oh, drop those hips over. And other side. Nice job. All right. Beautiful job today. All right, let's get a little stretch. And come on up. Feet apart. Rotate. Whew. You worked all the way around the body. I'm proud of you. And since we worked those sides, pull those feet together. Hand on the hip and just stretch over the top. You can look towards the ceiling. Pushing that hip out, feel that stretch up and over, other side. Oh yeah, nice job. Huh. And back to center, feet apart, rotate. We're gonna do one big breath and then I'll let you go. 
to the center, feet together, a little bend at the knees. Hands out, chest up, chin up, up and over. Inhale, bend down, drop forward, roll it up. And nice job today. You've done a great job. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Peace.